Hi, this is Zinc Review. We're back. Last time I brought you guys the newest Ultrasonic Edition with some stories about their unique brand and their core technology with the S Logic. Well, today I'm gonna bring you a can that may even more unique with somehow similar concept. Yes, I know you haven't read the title and are curious about what kind of monster can be a full-size headphone with three dynamic drivers on each side. Well, hang on. It's not something fancy craft stuff cost 50 bucks that you might thinking right now. This one is actually aimed high end, and the price tag in Japan was over 2,000 US dollars. Can you imagine that? Well, I know you've probably seen or experienced some high end full size headphones with multiple drivers, like the vintage AKG K340 and Enigma Acoustic Dharma D1000, even the final order Pandora. Hmm, seems like they were all using hybrid driver design. Well, I rarely see some high-end headphones with multiple dynamic drivers until this one came out. Here we go, the monster cross zone CZ1 from Japan. Let's do unboxing first. Inside that packaging box, we had this huge big black box here with a gorgeous gold logo in the middle. Cross zone. Wow. Let's take a look. Well, paperwork, and you can see it's like this. So this packaging is remind me the Sennheiser HD800 series. Yes, it's pretty much the same. Oh, this one is huge. And cables. So, this is pretty much everything in the box. We can see it has two set of cable here. One is 4-bit cable with 3.5mm connector for mobile source, and the other one is 10-bit cable with 65 connectors. Those cables had a little secret. I'm gonna talk about it later. So here is our big boy. You can see it's pretty big, or maybe I'd say huge. The design of this headphone is not like anything high-end on the market, right? And it's pretty much like an alien design. We have a huge triangular shaped earpiece with the uh, Valura AirPad and a super large airspace in here. Here we can barely see a tiny little metal plate driver inside. In general, it looks super heavy. And yes, it's quite heavy. The weight of this headphone is over 500 grams. But the ergonomic of this headphone is surprisingly good, actually. The frame and headband is made by magnesium, and the cross song really engineered it well. Okay, the design of this headphone is already unique enough. When I first saw it, I was thinking this may be some crazy expensive gaming headphone. Because I misunderstand it here as a microphone. Does it look like a microphone? Hmm, okay, this area here is not for fancy looking, it's actually functional. It's a pipe underneath for special purpose. Okay, why would I say that this headphone has a similar concept to the ultrasound? Last time I talked about S-Logic, because ultrasound hates the headphone listening experience of inner head sounding, so they created S-Logic. As I said, they want a speaker listening experience on a headphone with surrounding sound effect. I could say that, the creator of this bigger one has exact same idea, but they are using completely different way to achieve it. Well, after I received this freak headphone, it confused me for a really long time. Firstly, it's about the cable that I mentioned. There is no any left and right side on both cable. At the moment, I'm thinking about, oh my god, how could they forget doing that? Well, I just randomly plugged in and played some music to see if I plugged it correctly. And I found that I'm actually a lucky boy. I plugged them correct every single time. After weeks of listening to you, I found a little secret that no matter how you plug the cable, it just sounds correct. Because the cable will transmit both left and right signal to either the left and the right earpiece. How could I find that without reading the user manual? I'm the man that really hate to read the user manual. The story is, 
Once I was listening to some electro dance music and accidentally hearing some tiny little tones goes to the right channel while it is supposed to be in the left. I know that sounds weird. Seems like it has a little physical crossfit system inside this headphone. It somehow explained how this headphone really worked. Let me explain how those three drivers cooperated together in this headphone. We can see two beryllium coated drivers when we remove the air pad. Those are the main sound source drivers, which is the 40mm woofer potentially blocked and 23mm tweeter. Well, there's another 40mm driver underneath that we cannot see here. That is the crossfit driver which contains the signal of the opposite channel. That's why I could hear some tiny little tongue from the reverse channel. The chamber design, they call it acoustic delay chamber. I know this is quite sounds like something similar to the S-Logic, and we can see here the panel with some holes and angled positioning. It really made me thinking of S-Logic and Outsome. It uses almost same idea as S-Logic that making sounds reflected. That's why I said they had quite similar concept of doing this. There are two air chambers behind this plastic wall for many to reflect and reverse sound are using to create a delay of cross sound signal. And sounds from the reverse and reflected chambers are mixed with the direct sounding come from the woofer and tweeter drive together, which generates a spatial sound field to avoid inner head sound experience. I'd say this is a really, really radical idea. They claim that any other headphones on the market are all out of date, and this is the future. Hmm, too much about fancy tech. Well, I doubt you must be very curious about how this big voice sounds like. I'd say this can is really fun to listen to, compared to the Edition 11 that I reviewed last time. This CZ1 sounds pretty modern-like. The sound state is quite loudspeaker-like, and you may feel it has quite neutral sound field in many music tracks. Well, I'd say the sound field of this headphone is the one that is most close to the loudspeaker experience that I have ever listened. Sound quality wise, hmm, this is not a headphone that with super high resolution transparency and extended low and high, explosive dynamic or spacious sound stage. But in general, this headphone sounds quite musical. That's quite different from Outsong. It has smooth and little warm mid range. Basic extension and impact is not mid average performance at the same price range, but quite relaxed. So I'd say, if you're willing to pay 2000 bucks for this headphone, you definitely need not for its sound quality, but for the unique sound presentation. Once you accept the presentation different of this headphone, you will find this sound pretty enjoyable. I pretty much enjoy this headphone to listen to some aged vocal tracks and live recordings. Oh, by the way, besides music listening, this is actually a stunning headphone for movie and gaming. If you have those need, you definitely want to check it out. And it designed pretty much like a gaming headphone that I mentioned. I've worn this for watching Blu-ray classical live concert for an entire afternoon and play first-person shooting game for a whole night. It's pretty good for doing that. And the ergonomic is great that I mentioned. I would wear it for a whole day without any trouble. Okay, one more thing I want to notice about this headphone is to get right performance, you need to wear this headphone a little bit forward, like this. Yeah, a little bit forward. Because the performance of this headphone is quite much depends on how you wear it. Well, on the other side, CZ1 takes really long time to run in for get right performance, and it really eat the power of your amplifier. You definitely need to pair it up with a powerful amplifier. Also, CZ1 has quite impressive 3D feelings on stage, but I can't say it's an honest or realistic sounding headphone. Pretty much the same as s Logic and Outsome. The empty and positioning of this headphone is somehow odd in some tracks, maybe because of the crossfit. It creates a great floating 3D object sounding experience, but you may not feel it's real. When switch from other ordinary high-end headphones to the CZ1, just like you are playing a Nintendo 3DS and turn 3D function on. You know what I mean? The 3D effect may feel like created by some fancy magic that you know is not real, but it's still fun to listen to. Again, 
Listen once is more than 1,000 review. I know this can is quite difficult to find a place to try it on if you're not in Japan. Well, in the Camp Jam Shanghai Headphone Festival next month, you can experience the CD1 there. Or maybe you have already tried it. Just let me know if you have any thought about this unique headphone. Leave the comment below and we will see you very soon. Bye bye.